afternoon. I'm Rick Miller with Inman Farm Heritage Days. We're here with another one of our doodle bug projects here. I love doodle bugs. This one we bought from Gerald Fielder, one of our longtime exhibitors, and he's, he's gotten too old to come to the shows anymore. We've kept in contact with him. And I knew he had this thing. We went over and looked at it and uh, made a deal for it, but he wanted to build the engine. And he actually took the parts in his house and built it. And then we had to roll it out on the engine stand out of his living room down the porch on the back of the trailer. But, we brought it home, brought the rest of the, the doodle bug home, and uh, sat here for a while. And our buddy James Crane is very knowledgeable on these things, and he came up here and helped us work on it. We put the engine in it. That, that was pretty simple. But the transmission, well, you'll see that in the video coming up. The transmission had been in, looked like underwater. It was pretty sad. But James had some transmission parts for some of his projects. So basically, we used our case and his gears, put the transmission together. It has a it's a double A transmission, which is a big four speed. And then the rear end is out of a, I don't know, maybe sometime in the thirties, ton and a half truck. So it's got a big rear end in the back. It's got the big truck tires on the back. Um, we got all that together. Today's the first day we actually drove it. I drove it up here to where we're gonna take the pictures and I blew out one of the right front tires. We blew out the right front tire. So these are the tires that we hope to put on it eventually. They're spoke wheels like off a 30 something model Ford car. So right now this, this has kind of got to go. I don't really like that, but it's uh, it's, a, it's your typical doodle bug. We had to put aluminum radiator on it. The radiator, the original radiator, just wouldn't do. And uh, they're so much cheaper just to buy a aluminum radiator off eBay. So that's what we did. And we, we put the radiator shell on. We still got a little few little things to do. I got to wire up a switch. We got the hood to go back on it. Several things yet to put on there. I need to get the, the right rear tires not holding there. Good. Got to get that fixed. But, we hope just to have this thing up and running and let it make the people take people to ride during our show September the 20th through 22nd, the 27th annual Inman Farm Heritage Days. This isn't the first startup at this car, but it's the second. We'll see what happens. Some of y'all have noticed the Sniper Comet lawnmower tanks on these things. We're gonna, it's just a temporary thing till we get the car sort of shook down, make sure everything's good on them. Both of them have good gas tanks on them. We just gotta get the gaskets and filters and all hooked up because it's critical on these things because the gas runs right over the top of where the exhaust is and you have to be sure you don't have any leaks here. I've got a fire extinguisher on the seat just in case, but I don't wanna have to use it. This is another one of our Model A projects that we've been working on at the same time we have the doodle bug. We bought the frame and the motor and the running gear from James Bolton's family. He's one of our longtime exhibitors who passed away, and I really didn't know anything about it when we bought it. But we brought it home and uh, got it out, cranked it up, and it had a pretty good rod knock in it. So our buddy Charles Moore, I took it over there to his shop, and he he, we replaced the one rod. We actually bought one from Snyder's. It's already babbitted. You can swap them out for 100 bucks, and that's a pretty good deal. And then the others, he took like sandpaper and just filed the end of the rod caps off and got them down good and tight, put it back together. Uh, James Crane helped us put it back in. Daniel Perkins and Sam Chasen helped us some on that too. We got it back together. Uh, we call this one the Prospector because years ago I saw an episode of Highway Patrol, the old black and white 
movie and there was a prospector that drove a Model A very similar to this and I screenshot some of the, uh, the pictures from that episode. But we tried to copy the prospector and you can see we've got, we've got the, the cowl in the hood and the radiator shell we got from James and put on what we had. Um, like our other doodle bug, Tommy Hicks helped us take a school bus seat and make a seat out of it. That's a little different than the prospector, but it's nice to have where somebody can ride with you. And if you've ever ridden an old school bus, which I'm sure everybody has, they only have one set of legs on them because the other side's fastened to the outside of the bus. So we have to take, we've got a stash of school bus seats. So we have to take the legs off of one seat, put it on the other, so you can get it on this frame here. Kitty's over here enjoying herself looking at that. But then we just took some used lumber and built this bed on the back, tried to simulate the prospector. And uh, I want to get a tag put And also the character's name in the movie was Asa McQueen. So if you see Asa McQueen or prospector, you'll know what that means. That thing's cold. video doodle bugs came about because farmers trying to save money during the depression and i've tried to follow that when we're building these things and you may wonder about this kind of different color of the lumber here my parents are replacing the deck on their house and i salvaged through the boards on the lumber scrap pile and got enough to build this this right here so i feel like we've been true to the spirit of doodle bugs and if you notice when we were driving it model a's are actually pretty fast in the in the low gears. You think about being slow cars, but they're not slow when you take off on these things. But we we got some that have reduced transmission. We can reduce the speed of the transmission, but just a straight drive, they're pretty fast. Turn it on. You ready? Uh We hope y'all got as much enjoyment out of watching this video as we did out of making it. We're trying really hard to produce some videos that are worthwhile and help y'all learn about what we're doing here at Emmon Farm Heritage Days. If you like it, if you don't mind, help us out. Click that like button and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on the next time.